Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. Hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are gonna show you how to resolve network connectivity issues over Wi-Fi on your Xbox Series S. Now, this video makes a couple of assumptions. That is that your Wi-Fi at home is actually working perfectly and all other devices are connecting to your Wi-Fi and it is actually an issue with the Wi-Fi card inside the Xbox Series S. So let's get into it. So first things first, we need to take the case off. Now, way to do that, flip the console over. On the back here, you'll see two little white tabs. We have to remove those, so get yourself a pair of pliers or a flat blade screwdriver and just pull off those white tabs like so. And then below the white tabs themselves, there are two black screws. Now you need a Torx bit screwdriver to take these screws off. Uh, on this one, it's a Torx 9. Simply remove these two black screws like so. And then what we need to do is pop the console onto its top side like so, so the back is facing upwards and literally slide this back panel, uh, bottom panel backwards like so, and then it just lifts off like so. Next thing to do, we need to remove this top white case. Uh, now to do that, we need to remove the green screws. All the other screws can stay there for the time being, but just for now, we're gonna remove this top case. So let's remove these green screws. Okay, so with those green screws removed, what we need to do is remove this top white case. Uh, quick tip on this one, just be careful of these two white plastic lugs at the end. That's where the black screws screwed into. They are quite fragile. So when you lift this case off, you can snap them. So just, uh, just be careful of those. Easiest way I've found to do this is uh, if you just gently pull out the case that way, you can then pop this top case off, right? So what we're gonna do is flip the console over as I say, pulling out this way, we're gonna gently lift the console, uh, lid of the console up like so. And then we're just gonna let the metal chassis drop down and off the case comes like so. So with the case off, we have access to the board, which is on the right hand side, just here. Now this is the network Wi-Fi board. Um, don't get confused with the one on the front. This is the, uh, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip which connects to the controllers. This one to the side here is for your uh, home network, uh, obviously connecting over Wi-Fi. Um, if you're having connectivity issues on Wi-Fi, <clears throat> uh, you can try replacing this board. Um, obviously, you know if you've double checked your home Wi-Fi and it's working fine, you've even reset your console and it's still not connecting to Wi-Fi, that might be a likely issue. Uh, that you need to replace the board itself. So it's held on with three black screws. So we take those off. And with those removed, the board simply just lifts off. So you pull it towards yourself, it pops off. It's actually held on by this connector here, which goes into that uh, socket there. So uh, that's it, simply pop that off. Now, all you need to do is bring in your replacement uh, Wi-Fi card. Installation is the reversal, so literally line up the connector, pop it down again, and then put back in your three black screws. So with your screws inserted again, so it's nice and secure, what we can do then is put the console back together again. Okay, so putting the console back together again. Uh, quick tip for you, obviously get your uh, casing. Now, the way to line this up, the best way I find, is actually use this front USB port, right, on the actual uh, console itself. Get that lined up with the USB uh, socket, or hole I should say, at the front of the casing. Easiest way I found to do that. Turn the console up on its uh, back, 
noting the USB port. Get the case, go this way over, and then essentially make sure the USB port, you won't go all the way on at this point, but make sure that you can see the USB port through the hole here at the front, okay? Then, when you're in that position, you can then move to the rear of the case, and then just as we were taking off, we need to be careful with these plastic lugs. We can pull them out like so, bend them over the rear of the console like that, turning the console to its front. We can then just pop over the rear casing like so, making sure it's nice snug fit like that, all the way along, making sure these plastic lugs are seated correctly. You can turn it around and then you can then add in our uh, green screws. One thing to note before you do that, just make sure that the synchronization button clicks and the power button still clicks. That, no, that way you know it's all aligned correctly. Okay, so let's get the green screws in. So with all of our green screws back in again, we can get the bottom case. It goes, only goes one way around, simply just drop it on and you'll feel it slide into place. Give it a push and then it just pops in, obviously making sure that it's all flush along uh, the bottom. And then we can pop back in our black screws. Finally, put our little white tabs back over the screws, like so, and then we are done. So thanks very much for watching the video, really appreciate your view. Please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. We are posting uh, weekly videos now on how to repair PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, as well as some of the old Xbox One consoles as well, and the PS4s. So we'd really appreciate uh, you give, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you like this type of content, content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Speak to you all soon.